Hi, I'm Amy Sherman. And I wanted to kind of explain some things that, um, anyway, um, I wanted to kind of explain my disorder a little bit, um, because actually it is more than one, and I'm not looking, um, excuse me, I'm not looking for um, pity or people to feel sorry for me. Um, I was grateful that my uh, son William um, set up a GoFundMe and he really did that because he didn't know what else he could do for me. Because the truth is nobody can uh, really do much for me. I have to figure out how to do things, normal everyday things, in a different way. Um, so I just wanted to kind of explain because um, if people looked at me in public and they saw me twitch or whatever, um, I've been known for people just to sit there and stare at me. Um, like they're waiting for, I don't know, something to happen, to explode, I have no idea. Um, my uh, tremors um, affect both my hands, my, my right hand mainly. Um, so that's a tremor disorder. Um, and it can make my entire body shake and my leg shake. Um, it happens if I'm sitting or if I'm active, it happens more. Um, I also have, um, which is associated with tremors, but it's um, a different beast all of its own, uh, where I get um, muscle spasms um, or muscle, you know, my legs will just jerk for no reason. Um, usually when I'm sleeping, um, sometimes when I'm standing, and if it happens when I'm standing and not holding on to anything, then I fall down. I have been known to fall down a lot. Um, they don't know why um, I get I started getting tremors um, two years ago, and then over time they have progressed not just to my hands but to the rest of my body. Um, I still get, um, migraines, um, they're from my, uh, traumatic brain injury, um, I had 15, almost 16 years ago, um, and over the years, not only has it made my head in pain, um, some days it's tolerable, other days it gets really bad, but over the years there's been um, different uh, symptoms that have come up and once a new symptom comes up, it doesn't go away, it just um, pops up when it feels like it and then, you know, settles for a little while. Um, It's not easy to explain a migraine if you've never had one. Um, my, um, in, since I've had the tremors, the pain in my head has um, gone up. So whatever my headache is normal, um, it has, has increased. Um, and I'm still trying to get used to it. Um, the other thing, um, well, one of the symptoms of the migraine is I have, sometimes I forget things, um, so I write them down, but now writing things down is not so easy. If I write slow, um, I can almost read my handwriting, um, 
mostly it's just sloppy. Not that I was ever the greatest before, but it just got worse. Um, I also have, and I didn't know that you could have this problem, is I've always had problems with my left eye since my injury um, 16 years ago. Um, now I have uh, flashes of light flashes of shadows, um, increased in eye floaters, um, sometimes they go really fast, um, sometimes uh, my vision, my left eye will become very blurry, um, and I can't read um, even really big signs, it's happened a lot. It's, around bright lights especially like in the grocery store um, so it's always a good thing that I have someone with me um, when I do these things um, I really can't do anything alone anymore um, except sit and watch TV or try to sleep um, I, I, I can't drive because it wouldn't be safe uh, my son Robert drives me wherever I need to go. Um, William, Lewis, and Robert, they help me. They get frustrated and they shouldn't have to help me. Yet, I'm not, I'm a year away from being 50, so I shouldn't have to use a walker, um, but I do because I'm tired of falling. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to explain everything um, from me to you. Um, I'm not going to break unless I fall down again. <laughs> um, you know, my, I feel like my body and uh, my mind is ganging up on me. Um, it's funny, after all these years, I'm still being haunted, and it's worse. Um, it's like I focus on taking care of my kids, and then now that they're grown, and they can they take care of themselves, and William is doing so well, he can take care of himself and he does stuff for me. So, that's me. I've tried, um, I tried anything that can give me some positive energy. My, um, I don't know if my body will ever be positive again, or my mind won't be so all over the place. Half of it is because I can't write down the stories that are still in my head. And I'm trying to keep or put a positive energy inside me, in, you know, in my soul and whatever. So, um, you know, don't feel sorry for me. And you don't have to ignore me or say, if you don't know what to say, just say hi. Say, Amy, how you doing? Or, you know, talk about anything other than what's going on with me. If I say I'm okay, my sons tell me I'm lying. So, every day, I do my best to get out of bed and start the day. So, to all of you, you know, don't feel sorry for me. I'm doing the best I can, and my boys are doing better. They're helping me in ways they don't need to. So if you ever see them, tell them thank you. Because I tell them all the time, but then I also apologize, and they don't like that either. So, um, to all my family and friends, I'm still alive. Ta-da!